Hey everybody, so I have a really great video for you today. This is going to be a very beginner friendly stretching yoga type of video for people who've been on their feet all day. So if you work uh, as a waitress or um, if you are a cashier at a store or if you've just been at an event all day and you've been on your feet for a few hours and you are really feeling sore and pretty run down, this is the video for you. So check it out. You really don't need anything except a little bit of space. If you have any yoga equipment you would like to use, a mat, a block, stuff like that, you can use it to adjust some of the stretches to fit your body better, but none of it is necessary. So. Welcome and join me for some nice relaxing stretching to help you get off your feet for a while. Okay, so first off, we're going to do one more thing on our feet. I promise after that we will get off them, but once more join me for this fantastic relaxing warm-up sort of. So we're going to stand up, spread your feet pretty generously, quite a ways apart there. Also, if you notice, I'm wearing the cute back on point leggings from Zeal. I will have a link in the description if you like these and you want to buy a pair for yourself. And you're supporting me if you do so. So, awesome. Alright, so legs spread generously. You can bend the knees a bit. You're just going to fall over. Just let the body relax. And bending each knee one at a time. We're going to go on this nice figure eight movement. So let your arms swing. Let your head hang down. And we're just going to relax. Got a nice figure eights with your hands and your hips. Really bending into the hips. This will help warm up your hamstrings. Let them relax. Let all that tension go. And we're just going to swing. And just let your head fall down. Want all of that weight coming down the spine. Just pulling you down. Wonderful. So you should be feeling much looser in your hamstrings there. If you're stepping kind of tight, just keep doing that. Just pause the video. Keep rocking. Otherwise, we're going to come on down. And here's the thing. When you've been on your feet all day, especially if you work in heels, if you work in an office or modeling or do something like that, or you've been in heels, in a heel, your foot gets pushed up like this, right? you got the heel up under here. What that does in the long run is it can shorten your Achilles. Everything back in here can get shortened, which you might think no big deal. It's a big deal. You want your body to be a proper balance of flexibility and strength. And when that's getting shortened, that's not the proper balance. So what we're going to do, we're going to come put the legs down for you. They don't have to be straight. So if you're not flexible to fall right down there, just bend the legs as much as you need. I mean, this would be totally fine. Let this come in. We're going to take our hands. Wrap them right over the balls of the feet and just gently pull the balls of the feet back towards you. Make sure you're keeping the knees kind of in line with the hips, the feet in line with the knees. We don't want you sprawled out anything weird and possibly pulling something wrong. Just keep your legs straight. Yeah, straight this way, not straight this way necessarily. And just pull back. Keep your shoulders away from your ears. You want to keep a nice long back and just pull gently, not yanking, not forcing anything, just a gentle pull. You should feel it in your, honestly, in your arms and shoulders as well, possibly your upper back, just with the muscles working to pull back through there. But just breathe and feel it right back in here. Feel that relaxing. That's something you can test and see how flexible that is. I'll show you this real quick. Stay in that pose. You can come down like this when you go into a squat. Can you keep your ankles down? You'll see a lot of people have to do this. Come up onto their toes when they squat down. They're trying to get something or tongue to them. They're real off balance because this is too tight. It pulls the heels up off the ground. When you get that more flexible, you can sit right down into that. And you'll see that in like yoga, you get into like garland pose and stuff like that. You want those heels to be down. So this stretch will help with that. So, just going to pull that back a bit. Okay. Now for the next one, you're going to need a wall. I hope you're somewhere where you can get access to a wall. So legs up the wall. Very 
self-explanatory, right? You're going to scoot yourself here. Well, it doesn't have to be right up against it. Just get near it. And we're just going to sit like this. If you'd like, you can put a block or a blanket or something underneath your hips and elevate them. Otherwise, we can just sit here, however most comfortable for you. This might seem silly. This might seem like just something like your little kid would do, just kicking on the wall and stuff. This is actually really good. Have you ever had it where you're on your feet all day long, and the next day it feels like the bottoms of your feet are bruised? It just, it hurts to walk. They look fine, but it just feels awful. That's because when you've been standing all day, there's a lot of fluid that pools in your feet. If you are a woman and you've ever worn heels at like a dance in high school, you probably know this. If your school is anything like mine, all of the girls made their entrance. We we're all like, yay, look at us. Our dresses are cute. Our hair is done in some real silly way. It's all crimped or whatever. And then soon after that, probably within 20 minutes, everybody had their shoes off. They're all thrown against the wall. Because your feet start to swell and your heels would hurt all the cute straps that were so cute, the cute little ankle strap is now digging into your skin and it hurts because your feet swell. And that can cause all of that bruised feeling, all of that soreness the next day. So sitting like this and just getting your feet above the rest of your body, even if you're just laying on the couch with your feet up on the arm of it, that allows the fluid to come back down, redistribute through the body, and will alleviate a lot of that pain for that night and the next day when you've been on your feet all day. So we're just gonna relax here for a while. You can bend the knees if you need to, it's fine. If you know, if you don't wanna have your legs straight against there, anything, just bring them like this, bring them down. Just make sure the feet are above the rest of you, however that is comfortable. If you wanna kind of flex through the feet, find an active foot, active through the hamstrings, that's gonna get more of a stretch in the back. Stretch out your Achilles and your hamstrings again. But it's fine if you just want to relax. If you're not here to really stretch anything, if you're not here looking for yoga, if you're here looking for relaxation, that's fine too. So let's just sit here for a few more breaths. It should be relaxing for you, so allow yourself to relax. That's our goal. Come down out of that, and tuck the legs, come up to the side. We've got one more pull if it's going to work. Not your legs, I should have said, your back, which is still important when you've been on your feet. Okay, so the last pose that we're going to do in this relaxation, get off your feet sequence, is going to be some cat cow, which I know you've seen before. You're just going to come onto your hands and knees, and keep the hands aligned underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips. So you want to be in this real nice tabletop. And we're going to pull the belly up towards the spine and let the spine go up. So it's almost like you're trying to create a C shape with your spine, pulling your head and your tailbone towards each other underneath you. So it's very much this contraction and then a release. And then you're trying to reach your head and your tailbone above you. So pulling up the other way. We're going to do a couple of those. Just time them with your breath. Get a nice fluid movement here. And the reason we're doing this is when you've been standing for a long time, your spine can get compressed. And just like how your feet will hurt the next day, your back will hurt the next day. This is also why you're taller in the morning when you just get out of bed than you are later in the day. Your spine compresses just a little bit and can actually take some height away from you by the end of the day. So doing this, we want to get some more movement and mobility in the spine. If you'd like, you can also do circles with it. So meet them off to the side, meet the head and tail underneath you, and go in these big circles. So make sure after doing a few of them, you go the other way. That we always used to do my modern dance classes. It's a very popular modern dance warm up. Get your whole spine and neck warmed up. Back. 
you'd like to end in a nice child's pose, your feet together and your hips apart, press it down. You're pressing back, pulling this down and towards the ground. So it really stretches out your lower back and in the front of your hips when you do this. And we are done. Everybody, thank you for joining me on that nice relaxation sequence. If you're like me, you've been on your feet all day long, so this is just my attempt to give you something to wind down after that. Try to alleviate some of the pain that can come from being on your feet all day. Pain in your back, pain in your legs, pain in your feet. Pain that we get all the time when we've been on our feet. And we're in a society where a lot of us are on our feet. We talk all the time about the dangers of having a job where you sit all day, but a lot of us have jobs where we stand all day, and we don't talk about the dangers and the pains that can come with that, and that's very important to deal with too. So as I said, you can hang out in any of those poses for as long as you would like, use it before you go to bed, just relax, get some of that fluid back where it's supposed to be, let your spine stretch out, and hopefully go into tomorrow feeling much more refreshed than you normally would. So if you want to see more videos like this, please leave a like on this video. It lets me know that you're interested in more of these. And if you want to see all the videos I make in the future, make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll put a little button for it right up here. So all you have to do is click that, confirm your subscription, and let me know what you think. Thank you guys for following along. I hope you have a fantastic day.